Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dane Hop Realtors. Today I'm on the uh, west side of San Antonio, kind of on the border of San Antonio and Castroville. This actually got a Castroville address, but the community we're in is Petranco Oaks. Some beautiful homes in this area, some larger ones, and they're being built on half acre lots. The builder we're looking at today, they're new to the area. It's called Davidson Homes. They just took over for Kindred Homes in this section. And I recently just met with the uh, regional manager and quite impressed with them. They're definitely focusing on delivering a quality home at a good price. And so far, been pretty impressed with them. Anyways, the model we're looking at is the Summerlin home, just over 3,500, 3,560 square feet. It's a big, beautiful home. I can't wait to show it off. So yeah, let's head on outside and start the tour. All right, like as you can tell from the front, this is a beautiful brick and stone combination. If you haven't been out to Prentreco Oaks, definitely come out and check it out, especially if you've got a reason to be on the west side of San Antonio uh, near the Casherville area. But Chesmar builds in here. Um, that's a Brody plan. I've done lots of videos of Brody and the Bethany plan, lots of videos. I've done, I think, two Bethany plan videos. But I am excited about uh, this Davidson company and because they can build at a better cost per square foot but still a really nice quality home and the tax rate in this community is at 2.2 but there is a PID and the sales reps working with me to try to figure out your total tax rate in this area I'll put that in the comments once I fig figure it out but half acre lots beautiful uh, home builds and I do like let me show you this real quick before we go on the inside. I like how they have their three car garage set up here on the side because it kind of gives you that feel of you're in a much more expensive home. Speaking of prices, uh, the base price of this house is 680, but they have one already with the builder picked out all the specs. It's gonna be at 720. You might go, holy crap, that's a lot, but wait till you get inside and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, let's head on inside and check out this house. All right, we got the beautiful uh, dual doors. And as I say all the time in this part of the video, hit that like button if you haven't or not yet. Here's the home builder's name, Davidson Homes. But love the doors. And like I said, this used to be a Kindred Homes model. So if it looks familiar, I haven't done a ton of Kindred Homes videos, but uh, I'm not going to go on the whole soap proper thing about it, but been pretty impressed with Davidson so far. Love this model. I've walked it already and so many things I like about it. One of the things is the office right up front. Kind of love these angled doors. You got tray ceilings in here. And I like the fact they already have it kind of set up an off as an office. So you can have a nice view. But still open the doors and see anything that's coming military things y'all know what you're talking about you don't like having your back to the door all right up front you have a bedroom up over here tall ceilings we've got kind of a jack and jill bathroom check out this closet size oh that's a really nice size closet with a shoe rack you don't see a whole lot of that in uh, secondary bedrooms but this room will have its own private sink. But then you're gonna share the shower tub combination with this room. Oh, you got a kind of a water closet. Would be kind of awkward if both doors are open, but how often are you gonna be using that with both doors open? All right, so this room's also gonna have its own private sink. And once again, a pretty darn decent sized bedroom for a secondary bedroom. Lots of space in here. See if we got the same size closet, and we do with the same shoe rack. Like I said, love those doors. This space here, they've got to set up kind of a formal dining room. And if y'all been watching my channel for a little while, you probably got the hint. I, I'm a little bit of an alcohol enthusiast. I do have a full bar at my house. No, I'm not an alcoholic. I don't drink constantly, but what I would do with this room, because there's already a dining room here. We're going to look at that more later. But I would be turning this into my own little personal bar entertainment space where I could just raise this light up a little bit, put my big bar with my uh, nice whiskeys on there, 
put a little round carpet here with some nice uh, chairs setting up. And man, this becomes a really focal point of the house as far as entertainment. So people come in, it's like, oh, we know this is the entertainment space and you got some living space there. We'll get to it in a little bit. But first, let's check out this area over here because you're gonna have your own uh, little suite for your guest bed guest, especially as long-term guests because it's a bigger room. They're gonna have that same size closet or maybe a little bigger there. There you go. With a shoe rack, but they're gonna have their own full-size bathroom with a shower, a little, little step in there. So yeah, if you've got someone staying with you long-term, it's nice that they're on this side of the house by themselves. You're not gonna be hearing everybody else and give you a little more privacy. But once you come out of that, walk, walk either through your bar or around your bar, you can do either one. But then we're coming into the main living space and I love the use of the space in this main spot. You got a fireplace at an angle, so you don't have to put, try to put a TV up really high, but you've still got use of a fireplace and it looks gorgeous. But you got plenty of space here for if you wanna put your big couch, recliners, whatever you wanna do, and have your TV right there and not having to look up really high. These beams would be an upgrade, but they've got it in a model home. But man, check out this kitchen. Lots and lots of space. That's why I would convert this room into a bar because yeah, plenty of space in here for your formal dining room, breakfast nook, however you want to have it. Lots and lots of space in here. Love this giant oversized island. So if you've got kiddos, if you've got a big a whole group of kiddos, you can have them lined all up here to eat breakfast if you wanted to. Loving this farmhouse sink. Really nicely done. Plenty of space in there, but you got really good views from everywhere behind the sink. Nice appliances. This is a gas community that's very important to a lot of folks. So you got your refrigerator, five burner cooktop, spot for your refrigerator, and a really nice size pantry. Definitely bigger than what you would see is like your typical corner pantry. So plenty of room in there. Got your oven, easy access to where you can pull stuff out and just put it right on your quartz countertop, making things easy. And the microwave's not too high. When you see those double stack microwaves, that would scare me pulling out a hot bowl of soup. But lots of cabinet space. They got some upgraded doors on there with a glass on it. But this is something else I really like about this room. Oh, let me show this here. You got your powder room, kind of set back off to the side. Love the tile work on there. But in this section here, you've got your own little movie theater set up. See, they've got the little sconces on the walls already. So yeah, you can put as big, let's see where I'm at right here. Oh yeah, that's plenty of space. I've got a little projector at my house. So if you wanted to put a 110 inch screen there, um, I did my little DIY stuff where I went and got Wilson Art Laminate, Fashion Gray from Home Depot for like $100, framed it all out. You can put your projector up high, coming down, or put a little shelf on the wall. I have an Epson uh, 4K projector, and that would make this a really cool uh, movie room to where you can shut it off for the whole house doesn't hear you. But if you got a projector, you want to make the walls rumble a little bit. Place for games or movies, whatever you want to do, but keeping it kind of out of sight. But I do love this use of space in here especially if you want to have movie nights. All right, speaking of entertainment spaces, got a really good size uh, patio here. Love how they got the covered there, so you can be out here, plenty of shade, but if it's raining, you can do that. Now, like I said, Petrenko Road is just down the road. Uh, you're about, I mentioned before, you're about a 26 minute drive to Lackland, so if you're working there, Rule of thumb, if you're within 30 minutes to your job in this area, that's a win. But half acre lots out here, that's a huge plus. Um, so it gives you space if you want to put a pool out here or do whatever you want to do. Extend this deck down and really make this an entertainment space. But you see you've got plenty of room out there in these lots, in these half acre lots to do whatever you want to do. 
and uh, really nice. All right, let's head on inside and go to the master bedroom, which there's a few things that I really, really like about that as well. But yeah, this is just a really nice setup. Love the layout, especially if you're looking for entertaining with a bit, big island, because y'all know when you're hosting house parties, everybody hangs out at the island. So it's nice to have really big space and not, nothing's crowded in here. So I do like this floor plan a lot. All right, let's head on in this direction, show off the two garages that we kind of saw when we first came in. This would be the two car garage portion. Plenty of space in here. Yeah, they're using it for a little storage. You've got your good, really nice sized laundry room and they want a little fancy tile work, which if you've got a small space, it's okay to go a little fun with the tile work. And then you've got your single car garage right here. So if you saw my video I did of that custom home by Lifestyles by Stadler Homes, I mentioned it's like, that's really cool if you want to turn that into your own. All right, now we're coming into the master bedroom, owner suite, whatever we're calling it nowadays. But this is a really nice uh, setup. You have a closet right up front. I know right now you might be thinking, that's not a very big closet for a house this size. Well, just wait, because this closet is just for one person. There is another closet in here, and having a dual closet is ideal for, if you got one spouse that's kind of messy, and the other one's a neat freak, well, you can have your own closet set up and uh, solves a lot of arguments. But wow, this is a really big master bedroom. That's a king size bed and there is plenty of space in this bedroom with your nightstands, lots of space, lots of lighting out here in here as well. All right, love the French doors opening up. You got a little hallway there. You can put a mirror there if you wanted to, but I like the way they have it decorated. Here's that other closet. So you can probably tell who's gonna have the closet on the outside of the bedroom and who's gonna have it on the inside here. Because you have lots and lots of space. You got your shoe rack and it's tall enough to be a boot rack as well. And then you got your off season racks way up high. Get yourself a little stick with a hook on it and that's where you're gonna put your coats at. Because frankly, yeah, this is Texas. Very seldom we are gonna be using your big heavy coats. Oh, I mentioned out, we also have eight foot doors throughout this house. And I got a big house like this, it's definitely good to have that. But we're still in the bathroom space. You got your water closet, plenty of space in there. Oh, I even like how they've got it a little extra wide with a toilet test, so you don't feel crowded. I don't wanna be crowded when I'm out in there doing my business. But check this out. This is really nice. You've got your dual vanities. So uh, we got one vanity with a little step, step, step down for the table. So uh, if a certain someone's putting their war paint on, you got plenty of space to do that. Your, your bathroom and then everything where she's probably gonna store all the bunch of crap and really cluttered it all up. Just putting it out there. But here's a really cool, check yourself, three-way mirror before you go outside. Yep, there's my ugly mug. But lots of space and I do like that three-way mirror. Something else I like is this big, beautiful soaking tub, gorgeous, and this shower. The big walk-in shower. Um, I like the fact that they've got this down at the bottom and glass only up top, because that eliminates you having to squeegee so much to try to get the water stains off. But you got the little lights up there, so get lighting, plenty of lights, two shower heads, and having these shower, the water things right over here, you can get the water at the right temperature before you step in into it and get kind of shocked by it. Plenty of shampoo, cubbies, and your little bench. So I really do like the layout of this plan by uh, Davidson Homes. Actually, it can be a little linen closet. Nobody cares about that. But it's a really cool little setup here where you can have everything, get yourself all done up, check yourself in three-way mirror before you even come out into the master bedroom. And then the other person's gonna have their own closet right here off to the side. So I do love this setup a lot, especially having a two car garage there and a three car garage on that side. Super cool and uh, definitely love this whole layout. 
All right, just gonna conclude the tour. Don't check off just yet. I, they've got quite a few spec homes and I'm gonna have a listing of that right after I finish this little outro. So don't click off just yet. But if you did like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and always share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you know someone moving to the west side of San Antonio and they don't already have a real estate agent. Uh, I do these videos to show my value in hopes that you might reach out to me. And if you wanna reach out to me, all my contact information will be in the description box. So if you wanna schedule a Zoom meeting with me, just click that link in the uh, description box and I'll be happy to schedule that with you. Anyways, the builder pays my fees on this and they don't lower the price if you don't have a real estate agent. So please don't go through this process alone. Reach out to me, it's okay. If you've been watching me for a while and you think I'm super busy, I'm not that busy. You can call me, I'll be happy to help. Anyways, hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.